Get this game on. Here's the introduction of the Blanchester Wildcats. Here come the players out on the field. Wildcats run through, getting ready to roll. Now here we here. Welcome to the jungle. It's about
Alright, the teams take the field ready for this heroic throwdown of epic proportions. It appears uh, Bethel is getting the ball first. Blanchester is getting ready to uh, for the kickoff.
Go for one. Five. Actually moving the ball, so it's great. Got to get away. Go. If he's finally come to the 26-yard line, he about a first down. Go 
Missed that call. It was a tough the Bethel State Tigers, and the point is good. Brooks, um, Bethel State, Blanchester Wildcats, zero. Let's go ahead and get that Bethel Tate. So we have four minutes, four minutes left in the quarter. Uh, Bethel Tate, seven. Zero. Now that drive. Sputtered, sputtered on the first drive, but they more than made up for the second drive. That was complete and uh, well orchestrated. Kick is off. It's caught number 23. He cut up through there. Got saw pass around the 35 yard line. Wildcats. Sluggish on their first drive as well. They can go. Push out of bounds. At about yards. Blanchester. Bethel Tate. Folks are excited. Play, ladies and We have 10. Oh, it looks like they bumped it back to the original one. At the 35 yard, it's third and 10. <laughs> Bethel's lining up to keep these Blanchester Wildcats honest. All right, ball is snapped. Shovel pass. Looks like he's running up the field. Great block by Blanchester, number three. And number three, Blake Stiles with the tackle. He makes it to the 48 yard line of the Tigers. That's enough for a first down Wildcats. You know, right, this would be the Blanchester Wildcats' first first down of the year, of the, excuse me, of the game, not the year. Um, they line up first and 10. Three minutes, 21 seconds left in the first quarter.
Here's the snap. Number two, pass. Number six, still on his feet. First down. Looks like he's finally pushed out of bounds at the 25-yard line. It's like Blanchester is now marching down the field as well, trying to answer Bethel Tate's seven-yard touchdown. Pass is thrown, almost picked off. Ball falls incomplete. All right, second and ten. Doesn't look like Blanchester's holding back right now. Chester huddled on the field, ready to try and punch it in. Second and ten. Two minutes and 25 seconds left in the first quarter. Number two, throws the ball. Incomplete. Had him wide open. It's like third and ten. At the 25 yard line. Band is rocking it tonight. All right, third and ten. Here's the snap. Number two, soft toss. Number three, throws, throws. Looks to be should have been a hold. He's brought down at the for about a. Looked like he was grabbed to get home. Looks like he, his shoulder was grabbed. This is the stop. The fourth, fourth down territory. No pun here. Blanchett is going to go ahead and try to punch it in, or at least get a first down. Could be shifty. He's for the down. You got to watch some trickery. See if they're doing any kind of trickery. There's a back in, in the backfield. Number 21. Whistles. Looks like a timeout on Wildcats. Black Wildcats. They have two remaining in the half. So we're going to take a second to go back and think about this one. Right, we have one minute, 28 seconds in the first quarter. Bethel Tate is leading seven to zero. It looks like Blanchester just thought about it and decide what they want to do. Like I said, it's fourth and ten. Looks like, yeah, fourth and ten. They're either going to go for a touchdown or try to get a first down. First and goal. 
Ball is snapped. And around. Quarterback keeps it. Wide open. Number three gets the touchdown. Like I said, you got to watch for the trickery on fourth down. So as it stands, pinning the field goal, Bethel Tate seven, Blanchester six. That was a plethora of trickery right there. Looks like the kick is good. That makes it and Bethel Tate good. seven. Uh, With about a minute, 21 seconds left in the first quarter. All right, Blanchester is going to kick the ball off after scoring a touchdown. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Kick is good. A little short. Looks like it's going out of bounds. And that is a flat. Head move Bethel Tate up to around the 40 yard line. Spoke. I think that's a 35 yard line. 37 yard line inch. All right, here we go. Comes the snap, pass is thrown to number 26. Evades a tackler. Looks to get about a first down. How's the sound That's up there, Darius? <laughs> All right, here's the snap. Right up the middle. Right up the middle. Looks to be about a five yard gain. Brought down at the 47 yard line as they enter Wildcat territory. Darius, it looks like both these offenses struggled in the first their first drive, but they they both answered each other. Yeah. Yeah. Stunned to dead. Gets the play goal. Here comes the snap. Drops back to pass. Oh, pass is deep. thrown to a very open oh, 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 Takes it in to the Buffalo Tate Tiger touchdown. Very nice. He was wide open. 54 yard pass for the touchdown. Goodness. Wide open. You don't get that wide open. <laughs> you don't get that handed to you every day. You take it when it comes. Yes, you do. You do. You do. You take that. You take it when it comes, definitely. That's that's stepping up right there. Very good. All right, here comes the kick for the extra point. Extra point is dead center. We're good to go. So it's Bethel. That's no good. Never mind. Just left. Have a good shot. <laughs> that shows you what we can see. What we're seeing from here. 
So Tigers 13, uh, Blanchester 7 with 32.4 minutes left, or seconds rather, uh, left in the first quarter. So I don't know if you saw the last play of the areas. I called it. So it was fourth and it was fourth and ten. Okay. And uh, I knew, when you go for it on fourth down, you're always going to do some trickery. Yeah. And they did some trickery. <laughs> of course. The uh, fake handoff it to like two guys in the backfield. Oh, nice. The guy was wide open. Oh. So full on reverse or uh, just to fake the handoff? Just fake the handoff. Yep. They yep. thought it was reverse. That's why the corner. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. yeah. The touchdown. But um, but just good football. Good football. Very nice. Let's hope. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get Bethel Tate's defense out here. They were strong. They were strong uh, their first time out. Uh, Love to touch down the second over a trick play, but I believe they're going to come back here and uh, try to shut them down. Let's hope. Kick is made. Here comes. It is received. He is got like a side through the grass, number 23. And he is knocked out about 35 yard line. Oh, hey, now you can smell like, uh, you know, fireplace smoke. You got the trees. You got everything. Exactly. Going on. Somebody's really got awesome. either just a backyard fire or a leaf fire or something going. Yeah, perfect whatever. Timing. As long as it's fire, it's awesome. I think it's this is perfect, perfect autumn night for football. All right, here we go. Number two. Oh, quick pass. Number three. Picked up. About four. Yeah, picked up around four yards. to be number three as well. That is Blake Styles. Great job on the corner to pick that up. Yeah, about three seconds left in the first quarter. Probably going to clock run down here. Okay. You go with the mandatory water break. And that's the end of the first quarter here. Not a bad first quarter at all. The Tigers lead it. So after one quarter, the Tigers lead 13-7. We'll go ahead and move the chains, get everyone a chance to hydrate, and then we'll uh, continue this titanic struggle <laughs> against the Bethel Tate Tigers and Blanchard Wildcats. Now, Derek, you play any football when you were younger? No, actually, I didn't. I mean, I played some backyard football. Nothing at school. Oh, yeah. okay. I was not an aggressive kid okay. in sports. Okay. So, basketball was about my limit. Okay. Anything that involved more physical contact than basketball, I was not in, man. I knew just from watching, I did not want a part of that. No, I, I myself didn't didn't play uh, professionally or you know yeah, the, the yeah. school organization. Yeah. But my kids, they were gung ho about it and wanted to do it. I'm like, all right, go ahead. Let's, that's funny. I assumed with last, them but... being so much into it, I had just assumed that you played. Yeah. No. And that that's where they got I love, it from. I love the game. So so love, just the I fact watched, that you like it. Oh yeah, I that watched, was enough to get yes, them. I've, I've watched it ever since. Nice. I can remember, but yeah. All right, here we go. Blanchester has possession of the ball. The snap is made. Throw to number three. Oh, and he is tagged down. And he almost dropped about it, but he held it. About an eight yard game. So, yeah, we're at third and two. So good. It's just it's really exciting to watch your kids do anything. And I, I, I always tell my kids. You know, whatever you want to do, just do it. Exactly. I don't care. It, yeah, it really doesn't matter what it is. It's yeah. to watch them trying really hard. Yeah. It just, there's nothing like it. Yeah, and it's it, it really is. It really is. Um, you know, it's, it's, I love coaching football. I love coaching basketball. And just kids get it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the most that. awesome thing because, it, like, I'm actually doing my job. So Exactly. All right, Blanchester has possession. is third and two. And whistle is blown. Looks like a timeout. Wildcats. Nick of time. Somebody saw something they didn't like. Nick of time time. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the entire Bethel defense. That's, <laughs> that's what it was. They didn't like them at all. 
coming down like a pride of tigers. <laughs> So talking about youth sports, how it feeds into the high school, it's, it is, it's just, you see these levels and a lot of these kids, you know, I was talking to Dan Chandler who, who coached a lot of these yeah, um, yeah. The kids when they were like six or seven years old, yeah, kind of see yeah. how they grow, it's just, it's, it's a beautiful thing, I mean, like, you know, he was there to see the light turn on and realize what they're good at and what they can do. Yeah. But I think yeah, that, that totally changes this game. If you knew even half of these kids as children, then watching this game is totally different. And here's the snap. Quarterback keeper up the middle. He looks to be stopped. He, he made some Pushed decent back. progress, but man, they stopped him. He's got forward progress. And forward progress being given the first. Yeah. I, and yeah, they're going to call it a first down, I think. Yep. But it, it is a payoff, and, and you know, it, for my own children, like, you know, if I'm watching a Bengals game or any kind of football game at home, they know what's going on. They're telling me what's going on and what they see, and it's just so yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'm like, just, oh, just man, to see you guys them be are, into it. Great. Nice. All right, first down, Blanchester. Snaps made. It's thrown. Almost picked off. Right through his fingers. Looks all right. So they got number three, pretty Willie covered. He's not a tall guy, but uh, he's got good hands. It's the short guys you got to worry about because they they get, <laughs> you know what I mean. So they they tend to be a little. They will surprise you. Right, um, a little shifty, <laughs> as it were. <laughs> All right, here we go, Blanchester, second in about ten. 10 minutes, 30 seconds left in the second quarter. Whoa! Comes out of nowhere, sack! Sack! This should be about a 15 yeah. yard sack. Kind of sack. You hit your head and you get that fun. <laughs> He's probably smelling yeah, that right exactly. now. It's too early in the game to be smelling that. No, actually, that was. <laughs> they came up on him in a hurry. Yeah. He's, he was, whoa. All right. It'd be about third and forever. So. Blanchester sets up. There's the oh, snap. Low snap He's too. Long. Second and oh, oh, just almost picked off. That's going to bring up fourth down and 20 yards to go. Yeah, it was a low throw. It's about throw, a fourth down he, and 20. Yeah. It was a low throw, but he wasn't that open anyway. So that was a that was a prayer. Yeah, he had someone hot on his tail. <laughs> that's for sure. He came in. If we can get his number, number one, looks like. We are fourth and twenty. Woo, a little high. Here's the punt. Uh, looks like Bethel's just going to go ahead and let it bounce to about the twenty-yard line. Thirteen-yard line. All right, here we go. Possession. Nine minutes. 30 in the second, in the first left, 13 to seven. Ball on our 13, down. All right, first and 10, Bethel's ball. Catches Bay, pick. Number 22, number 23, they're tackled at about the nine yard line. Nice recovery from Bethel to tackle the.
First and ten Wildcats. 924 left. First and Chester. Up to take the snap. Snaps made. Number. Looks like it stopped. The ball's loose. Fumble's recovered by. Talk about making the magic happen. Only did. That's how you get back a ball. The turn away giveth, the turn away taketh away. First and Bethel. On their 11. Pass is complete. Nice little shifty run for no gain. Pass. Yeah, looks to be about a second and nine. Quarterback keeper up the middle for a gain of about a yard. So, be about third and eight. Third down and eight with eight minutes and 36 seconds left in the half. They could just at least get a first down out of this. We can go ahead and cruise into halftime. Pass is thrown. Deep one, deep, 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 deep down and incomplete. Fourth down and eight. Used to be, it's about a fourth and eight. And looks like the punt unit is coming out on the field. It was a nice ball. Nice looking ball though. Nice looking ball. Punt is made, booming punt, back, and takes takes a wildcat bounce back. All right, so we have eight minutes and eight seconds left in the first half. Bethel leading 15 to seven. Um, it is Blanchester ball on their 41. First and 10. Snaps the ball. Pass is incomplete. Blanchester's conferencing on the field. What to do next? Here we go. Defense is on fire. Once they get that first turnover, it's like to a short. Here it comes. Throw is made and it is incomplete. We are third. 
Okay, good. I'm kind of a big deal. No. Um, all right, here we are. Third and ten. Bethel Tate, 41. Pass is thrown out of the backfield. Number two drops the ball. He was wide open. I don't know if he has jittery or he's nervous or whatever, but he dropped the ball. All right, here we go. Beautiful thrown pass. He'll recover. All right, fourth and ten. They haven't moved the ball this drive. Looks like they're setting up the punt. But it is on Bethel's 41-yard line. Woo! Boots it. Looks like Bethel is just gonna let it out around the one. Looks like it rolls out around the one. Okay, so it's a five. All right. Seven forty-six left to play in the first half. We have. Bethel Tate 13, Lanchester 7, balls on the 5, first and 10. Looks like Bethel got a safety. Botch snap. Man, this game has everything in it. Good Lord. So after the safety, um, Bethel's going to have to punt back to Blanchester. So Bethel is 13. Blanchester. Wow, that was amazing. It's not too often you see it. Still has a good lead. 7.42 and a half. All right, they're going to set up the, the punt. The free punt, as they call it. Oh, it's just a kickoff in high school. All right, well, here goes my high school football and all. All right, here we go. <laughs> Bethel kicks it off. Short. Got it at the 50 yard line. Number six runs up the field. He was tackled by a tiger at the five. First and from the tiger line. Puts him in field after getting a two point version. The bank has been playing pretty all night long. Let's get a stop here. It's the big Bethel Tate Tiger last time out. Um, they held them to no game. Let's see what they do here. So number 21 breaks a tackle. Looks like about five yards. Two yards. The Bethel Tate defense seems to be stuffing the box, but eliminating anything that comes up. Right. Doing that, you got to about the outside. End around. 
short route receiver, anything. Ball is snapped, ball is thrown. Ball is caught at about. Look for forward, give him a first down. It's a short pass, so it looks to be about a third and Third and three. Two. Yeah, it's about third and three. I was right. All right, so. Blanchester possession. Snaps the ball. Drops back. Passes to number eight. Forward for a first down and a lot more. Looks like Blanchester's heating up. Looks like they're shaking the jitters out now, too. All right, we have six minutes in the first half. All on the first half. Takes it. And off. Two yard gain. I'm going for one yards. These Manchester receivers are doing a good job of catching the ball in space. It's like they don't hear the footsteps. Defense has to make a here. Here we are, second down and eight. Close picked up. That's when he wishes he had back, but. Want the interception, but I think we're going to stand for the. Uh, I'll take the. Third down and eight. Ball on the Bethel Tate 13 yard line. Ready? We go. Now, number two goes back. Look. He falls. It's incomplete. Didn't even catch the hands. All right, fourth down and seven to play on the Bethel line. Down eight. Bethel Tate still leading to nine after the safety by Blanchester. Let's go defense! Bethel Tate would like to make a defensive stand here and I think they can. Line up, two wide rights out to the side. Whistle is blown, timeout, Wildcats. Wildcats. Timeout, Wildcats, that is there. Looks like uh, the Wildcats want to take a minute to think about it. Four minutes, 56 seconds in the half. Bethel Tate, Manchester nine. We're almost into this thing two quarters and it is a man. Destined to make damn good television. Getting a little chilly. All right, here we go. 
we got. Here we go. No snap. <clears throat> Takes him off. Passes it. Incomplete. At their own 13 year uh 13 yard line after that stop. Held down there, bargain and make amends. All right, Bethel's on its own 13 yard line. In the first half, leading 13 to 9. Hand off up the middle. Shakes again. Looks like. So we're probably going to be second and seven. Yards. Second. Waits for the snap. Off. Up the again. Back. Looks to be good for a Bethel Tate first down. Uh, we are gonna have an Looks like we have an injury on the field. I'll see what happens on this. Yeah, it looks like he gets up under his own power. Looks to be shit. Play the okay. Right. He says he's good. He's good, just a little shaken up. Nothing to be too concerned about. All right. Bethel takes on its four yard line. First and with seven left in the first half. Here's the snap. Here's the throw. And so the receiver fell down. Or down. Either way, the ball falls incomplete. Taken over again at the 24, uh, Bethel's 24 yard line. Second and 10. Just a little over four minutes in the first half. Let's see if they can march down the field this time. All right, here's the ball. Drops back, passes, a little high, still grabs it. Looks like he's tackled for a loss or just line of scrimmage for no gain. All right, so it's third down and 10 on the 24 line or 24 yard line. Receivers get that pass is thrown. It's deep. Stop to get it. Pass is bobbled. It falls incomplete. I thought it was picked off for a second, but nope. It's an incomplete pass. Fourth down, ten at the 24. Looks like the punt unit is going out there to the ball and see if the defense take over and uh, from scoring so that about three seconds. Like and the two yard line. All right, deep to come back here and see. 
Und the first goal. Six left to play first half. So he's tackled for, for about one yard. Three minutes, 24 seconds left in the first half. Eight leading. Rushes in. Blanchester rushes in for a touchdown. Fifteen with three left in the first. Blanchett kicked the field. Looks like he goes through the uprights. It is Bethel Tate. Blanchester 16 with 304 left. First half. After the uh, botch snap for the punt. All right, Darius, glad to have you back. So um, you missed a lot. So we had a um, we had a botch snap for a uh, safety. And yeah, I, I, I thought that. And then a snap for a, um, for you, ladies and gentlemen, joining us. Um, uh, we also have a botch, botch snap. But the defense is actually holding pretty strong. Bethel is a pretty good defensive team. Uh, looks like they laundry on see what happens. Who it's against. And that's called a legal procedure against the Wildcats. That's called a place the ball on the thirty five yard line. And Blanchester. Um it's Takes pre got to kind of come back and, and uh, you have to come back and correct these mistakes. All right. The offense is waking up now. I think they're hungry, Darius. I think they're hungry. <laughs> Make a little bit, make some. Again. That's a good five yard run. Gets to the 46 yard line. That's going to bring up second down and six yards to go for the Tigers. Four. Six. Just keep it. Mikey Malloy. It's a good one. Four yards. We have about third and two yards to go. The snap. Looks like they're changing the play. 
Goes on down the line. Here's the snap. This Mikey, first yard. He goes there. Bumbling and bumbling to a first down. A bit more. Young this kid's all. Hands it to him again. He does. There's a guy miss. Play it, Chester. He's saying, what is going on right now? <laughs> He's hungry. Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. Shifts, shift. Now it looks like another, looks to be about another first down. That's a first down on the 14 yard line. That's going to bring up second down and four yards. This would be second down and four yards. Bethel's on their own, on Blanchester's four. There's another five free yards. And this is what's awesome. There's all kid on your team, like the clutch kid. Yeah, you know, just give him the ball. He runs for it. Exactly. He may not hit a home run, but he's going to get that. It's that five yards and cloud of dust kind of mentality. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a there's a big difference between the kid who is good for. A yeah, number two. And the kid. Ball pass. Oh. Incomplete. Uh, second and goal. Had to throw that one away. They saw it coming. And that's fine. You know what? That's that's the thing. You know, what you want. I mean, you know, it's it's hard to pull, not pull the trigger. You know what I mean? So, you want those guys to make a good decision. I'm going to make a good decision. I'll throw it out. We'll take the down. You know? Exactly. Snap. He's looking right again. Oh, there he is. Oh, very nice. nice. Move up the field is to be patient. You gotta be patient. You can't, um, you can't be, you can't be impatient, make a mistake. This gonna cost your team the game. So here we go. All right. Who's your, who's your go-to? Uh, yard. Mikey Malloy. Oh well, no, it's a quarterback keeper. Looks like a flag. Probably a false start. Yep. And it is false start against the Tigers. That is a five-yard penalty. That's what happens when you try to go ahead and line it up quick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, you line it. To go ahead and shove it up their throat. You know, you're a guy that's going to move. That's all right. I, I, all right. I, I can appreciate what they were thinking. Here's a hand off. Here he goes. Here he goes. I'm telling you, it's always the little guys with the yeah. shifty ones. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Now that's that. This is a statement. This was a statement drive. You you can shut it off. Okay. Okay. Or we just clip it here, clip it to your, uh, to your hood right here. Okay. Right here, just take it out from one of your shirt. Here, here, give me this. Just Technical difficulties, ladies and gentlemen. I hear doing it. Story of my life. Um, hey, man, that was just, that, that's what we like to call in the field a statement drive. <laughs> um, and what I mean by that is, you know, 
I had there was a couple of communication <laughs> issues, whatever, bad snaps, but they come back to get the lead. Um, and it's now 19 Bethel Tate Tigers, 16 uh, Blanchester Wildcats with uh, about 19 seconds to play in the first half. Uh, you know, looks like Bethel's can play today. Yeah. They've come to play, but definitely. Um, you know, they knew this was going to be a rough game, and they're, they're, they're sticking up to it. That was, that was definitely a statement drive. Man, that might give a warning. He is just rolling, rolling. All right, Bethel Tate lines up to kick the ball after the touchdown and successful extra point. Looks like it was a squib kick. Eat some time off that clock. That's the kind of score that you want before the half, right there. That that when you go to a locker room and you got and you're up on a team, exactly. after coming back and fighting even through adversity, that's, that's everybody's spirits are riding high. Right. That's what builds a good team. That's, yeah. Right there is, is is just that, you know. Listen, things were going bad for a little bit, but you know we're gonna go out there and correct it. Snap. And it looks Takes like looks like Blanchester is saying no moss for the, for the first out. half. All right, we're going into halftime. Um, and there we're running 19, out. Blanchester 16. We'll see you guys in the second half. Came up with that.
this time. Please welcome to the field the Bethel State High School Marching Band. The band has been hard at work this season and is excited to share our 2020 connection with you. So sit back and enjoy our first day by the Jones Brothers.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back after the uh, halftime show here. Uh, Bethel Tate 19, Blanchester 16. And I do believe Blanchester is going to get the ball first in the uh, second half. And they're going to get this underway. If you're not out here tonight, it looks like it's gotten a little bit chillier. I'm actually freezing, so, um, <laughs> but that's football weather. Got about a minute, 35 seconds before the kickoff of the second half see who wins this titanic struggle between uh, Bethel and Blanchester so far. Um, it's been a great night for it, um, and it's been a great night of football. Both these teams uh, play very hard. Uh, we've had a lot of action. We've had uh, a lot of odd stuff. Um, and But I'm telling you what, uh, like I was telling Darius, we have uh, – it's, it's, it's good to see these teams fight through adversity. Like we all continue to fight through adversity with the whole COVID thing and everything that's going on. And uh, just very thankful that we're having the opportunity now to go out here and watch these guys play. And um, more than happy to be, have the opportunity to bring this to you guys at home or in your car or wherever you're watching this uh, live streaming video.
48 yard line. It looks to be third and three. So what's seven yards? I'm getting good at this. All right, third and three on their own 48. Defense is going to Stephen. Let's go. for a first down and a few yards more. Let's wait for the uh, Bethel Tate defense to stretch your legs a little bit and get comfortable. Bend but don't break. I'm telling you guys what, this game is a battle. All right, number two, shotgun, waiting for the snap. Number two takes it, throws it, and incomplete. And it looks like he got hit right when he threw it. Bethel Tate defense is getting into the backfield. That's just how they're working it out. I think they're letting them, letting them know that that uh, they're still there. Basically saying you can't throw on us at will. Number two, which was a snap, shotgun. Hands off to number 23. Escapes the first tackle, but gets mobbed by a gang of tigers. So we're third and nine at the Bethel Tate 29 yard line. 9.30 to play in the first or the third quarter. Bethel Tate defense is looking hungry. Number two gets the sign. Waiting for the snap. Timeout. Wildcats. Looks like they did not like what they saw. Yeah, right after that little breather, looks like the Wildcats got it figured out. But the take defense stands at the ready. Number two gets ready to take the ball. Here we go. Shotgun snap. It is. Fake handoff. Throw down the field. Just out of the reach of the wide receiver. Incomplete pass. So this is going to bring up fourth down on Bethel Tate's 29-yard line. 
Fourth and nine. 8.57 to go in the third quarter. All right, time to get lined up. We got number two. Waiting for the pass. Oh. Waiting for the snap. Drops back. Oh, the Tigers in his face, and he gets sacked for a loss of about 10 yards. Hey, it's turnover on downs. It looks like Bethel Tate is going to take over. Looks like Bethel Tate's going to take over um, on their own 41-yard line with 8.52 to play in the third quarter. First and 10, Bethel Tate. Ball is snapped. Pass thrown. Caught. So it looks like it's going to be about, it's going to be about second down and five yards. Good pass. There's, there's a flag in the backfield. Well, then who's against? It looks to it looks to be against Blanchester. There's a rough in the passer call or not. It is against the Wildcats. It's a free 15-yard pass up the field. Nice. So it's like Bethel Tate gets the first down by default. After they move the chains, moves up, getting set. Oh, oh snap. drops the Looks snap. Another fumbled snap. Man. Another fumbled snap. Man. That rears its ugly head. 15 yard loss. Yep. Get that back. So if you're going to fumble the snap, Darius, you want to do it on first down. That's what you want to do. <laughs> there, there are rules to these things. There are rules to these things. That's, that's what you have to do. You know, when you're out there playing and, and it's the temperature's dropped. Yeah. Uh, and your hands get cold. That you know, it just happens. All right, here's a snap. The toss. Oh, picked off. off. By number 20. Still going. To the and they'll bring down him down at about the 35 yard line. It's the kind of game that you have to really kind of depend on your defense, Darius. Let's go, defense! They've stiffened up before and they've they've bent but didn't break. That's the kind of defense that you want. Yep. Like I was saying, I should have warmed up before the game. Good lord. <laughs> it's a little chilly. I should have wore pants. Looks like a false start against the Wildcats. So that'll push them back around five yards to the 40-yard line. So it's going to be first and 15 with eight or six to play in the third quarter. Here's the snap. There we go. And he is stopped. Oh, brought down. Right. Well, it looks like he got a gain of about a yard. Yeah, maybe a yard. It's about a yard. Yeah. Yep. He moved it about. Yards to go for the 
Yeah, defense is starting to really kind of step up a little bit. We're going to make this a game. Hopefully, uh, ensure Blanchester is going to have a long ride home. It's a long ride home, even with a win. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, place yeah, is? Yeah. That's Reward. a good point, man. Blanchester is out there. Jeez. Apologies to Blanchester fans that are watching. Here we go. Oh. Ooh. And nice number pass. eight. Not, not what number they eight. needed. Gets it back. Um, yeah, not quite to the line of scrimmage yet. So this is probably going to be about a second and 12. Third and 12, excuse me. Oh, man, I am good. I'm getting the lay of the land. All I right, think, yeah, third I think he's just listening to your feed. He probably is. He's got the headset on right now. That's, <laughs> that's what's going on. And why wouldn't you? I, I do. I have a very nice sounding voice. Very soothing. Like Barry White. All right, here we go. Goes back, drops back to pass. Oh, and it is caught. Uh, it's going to be about fourth down and two. Uh, fourth. Fourth down and five. Fourth down and five. Fourth down and five ball on Bethel Tate's 30 yard line. Now, if you're Blanchester, this is go time right here. So they are going to go for it. Too long for a field goal. Too long for a punt. And here they go. It's go time. This is where the defense has to button down. It's like number two is going to play change from the sideline. Here he goes. Oh, a team. And ball's incomplete. Bethel Tate defense stands again. They're ready to roll. That is how you play defense. Bethel snaps the ball and it is picked off again by number three. All right, so first and 10 Wildcats at Bethel Tate's 41-yard line. Bethel Tate D is going to have to go out there again and lock her down. Under pressure, number two throws it, it's caught. Caught by number six. Looks like looks about four yards. Yep. So we have about second down and six at the Bethel Tate 36. 514 left to play in the third quarter. They're going back and forth this quarter. Been a really exciting game. All right, here we go. Running back comes up. Number 21. Looks like he is going to gain. Uh, no gain. Yeah. So third down six. Bethel Tate needs to make a stand here. Because I'm pretty sure you stop him here. They're Blanchester is going to go for it again on fourth down. All right, Tiger fans, we can't hear you out there. Let's make some noise for your defense. Let's go, defense! Defense is the word of the day. Looking ready to pounce. Here it comes. And two gets the ball. It's Chase, throws under pressure. Pass is incomplete. Down in six 
they're really throwing off uh, number two's timing, as you can see. I mean, it's he's under he's under pressure. It looks like we're blitzing, so. Yeah, it looks like they're going to punt. I stand corrected. Middle watch the tricky stuff. High snap. Nice spiral punt. Down there right at the five yard line. So it is the five yard line. The offense um, needs to keep it together, keep it simple. Last time this happened, remember that Bethel um, was a botched snap into the back of the end zone for a safety. We don't want that to happen again. I think the offense is fired up enough. I think they're not going to let that happen again. We'll see what happens. All right, uh, so on Bethel Tate's five, they have it first and 10. 405 left to play in the third quarter. Hand the ball off to, to Mikey Malloy. Goes up the middle for about three yards. Something's better than nothing. Three yards is good. Let's keep feeding that kid the rock. Give it to him again. Finds a hole. Runs. Gets, gets caught from behind and he is Gains another two yards. Looks like he makes it to the 13 yard line. That's going to bring up third down and two yards to go for your Tigers. Here we are, third and two on Bethel's 13 yard line. Let's see what we got. Take a bit of a scan of the defense. See what they got. The ball snapped. Quick throw. Makes a guy miss. Goes. He's off. He's off two races. He's gone. Makes another guy miss. Right in the Tucked out from behind. Here we go. Keeps going. Oh, spins out of another one. He gets hit by his body. It's taken down at the 20 yard line. That was some shifty footwork by that young man, that's for sure. Number 20. And catch and run was done by number one, Gage Dunn. That is how you run a football. It was a fake handoff and a quick pass, man. That sold it. That was, that was awesome. Back, checking for the play call. Mikey, Mikey Malloy goes right up the field. Misses. Oh! Man, that guy is shifty. Works his way up to about the 10 yard line. It's going to bring up second down and inches for the Tigers. Looked to be a first down from up here, but they're saying second down and in inches. Just a little move. Get behind one of the big guys. We all wait in solid, silent anticipation. Here's the snap. Give it to Mikey Malloy again. Just looking for the, looking for the marker. It appears. Yes, he should. Yeah. Third progression gets him first down. First down and goal. Let's go! 
Yeah, play calls in. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Quarterback lines up. Here we go. Snaps. Another botch snap. A couple yards. Second and goal. Nice little flip to number two. He's met by a bunch of Wildcats. For looks back, no gain. Six seconds left in the third quarter. Looks like they're just going to let the clock run out. Switch sides. All right, third quarter ends. We're going to begin the fourth quarter. 12 minutes left in the game. Bethel Tate 19, Blanchester 16. Bethel Tate will have it third and goal. They've switched sides. Let's go. Here we go. Looks like third and goal. Give it to Mikey Malloy. Number five, Mikey Malloy trying to fight for the ball. And he is tackled for a loss. It's going to be fourth and goal. Fourth and goal, 16 yards out. This is go time. Here we go. There's a snap, a little low. Pass is thrown, and caught for a touchdown. They make it look so easy. That's what you do. That's what you do right there. That's awesome. All right, pending the extra point, Bethel Tate 25, Blanchester 16. Kick is up, and it is good, no good. All right, 11-12 left, 25, Bethel Tate 16, Blanchester.
Alrighty. And we're back. All right, Bethel lines up to kick the ball after scoring a touchdown. Missed field goal, or a missed extra point, I should say. All right, boots it away. Nice end over end kick uh, is caught by Blanchester, number 21. Races up the field and is knocked out of bounds. Looks to be about, yeah. So they are on the Bethel Tate 45 yard line with 11.05 left to play in, in the game. Bethel's leading 25 to 16. First and 10, Blanchester. Number two waits for the snap. Snap is made. Goes back to throw is, overthrows his receiver number six, incomplete pass. Second and 10 on Bethel Tate, 45-yard line. Let's go, Fans are shaking their seats because the game is awesome and it's cold. All right, here we go. Ball at step number two. Steps back to throw. Number six is tackled out of bounds for about a five yard gain. That brings it to third and five with 10.50 left in the fourth quarter. Yeah, brings it up to the 50 yard line. Bethel Tate Tiger defense has been strong all night long. Bending but not breaking. Snap is made, number two. Looks like to be a draw play, goes up to number 21. He is off to the races and oh, missed ankle tackle. Finally tackled out of bounds at about the 15 yard line. Correction, pushed out at the 23-yard line. I was, I was corrected by my Blanchester friends. It looks like flag on the play. Third and one, ball on the Bethel Tate 47 yard line. This game's so exciting, look away for a minute, you don't know what's going on. All right, here we go. Number two, gets set, waits for the snap. He takes it, drops back to throw. Heaves the ball over and is incomplete. There are penalty flags on the field. Let's see who it is. And that that flag is first flag of the night that goes against well, second flag of the night goes against the Tigers. And that is a spot foul. That's going to hurt a little bit. So it's a first down, Wildcats. on the Bethel Tate 32 yard line. Number two waits for the snap. Takes the ball, drops back. Oh, ball is loose. Looks like Bethel Tate football. You hear me all right here? 
Just recently? I did it. Because I hit the pair and button. All right, cool. Ball. So that is uh, the tape ball. 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 The defense stands up yet again. How's it going, Darius? Hey, this game has everything. It is awesome. You're doing, this is. Yeah, Man, it, it got so exciting. I wasn't here in the booth with you, but I, I've been seeing all these plays. It's incredible. Oh, Mikey Malloy, man, that kid can cut. Those kids that, that they cut so good, it's like they're falling down. Yeah. But they're not. My youngest son is the same way when he plays football. It's just the way it is. I know. I just, I had, I had to plug him in. So. <laughs> you cannot turn away for a second without missing something in this game. This is awesome. Quarterback waits for the snap. Here we go. Hands it off to Mike Malloy. And he rumbles for five yards. It's like a little cannonball in there, just going up the gut. Looks like we got we got a shake it up tiger on the field. He got up. He looks. Man, that offensive line is working hard for him. It's what offensive linemen love doing is pos is is um, run blocking. That's yeah. that's the thing. Yeah. That's what they love doing, <laughs> which is our guys against their guys and just yeah. you know in the mud it, in the it's 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 it's, it's awesome. where you prove what you can do. It, passes are great, but you know the running is what, is what really gets a lot of guys. All right, here we go. Looks to be about third and four. Pass is thrown. Oh, great, great catch. Very nice. That brings up another first and ten. The offense is definitely woken up. Number 18 catches the ball. Under duress. The ball placement on that was great. Quarterback gets the sign. You've got to keep it clean. No mistakes here. Definitely. Waits for the snap. That was a that was a sneaky little handoff. Yeah, I like it. Fooled half that defense and thinking he had the ball. Seven twenty six left in the game. Bethel Tate leading 25 to 16. Balls on Blanchester's 26 yard line. Quarterback which was a snap. Drops back. Heaves the ball. Oh, he goes. Oh. Man. Just barely, though. Those are the ones you want to have back. But hey, you know what? There's always a next play. That's it. That's what you have to think. Keep going to the next play. That was absolutely worth a shot. It was a beautiful pass. So the Tigers are saying that Lanchester jumped. 
albeit Blanchester's getting a little bit feisty, getting a little bit antsy to get back there. Drops back to throw, looking for his target. Heaves the ball, out of bounds. Good decision by the quarterback. A smart football right there. Six fifty-eight to play in the game. Tigers still leading, twenty-five sixteen. Ball on their uh, the Blanchester twenty-six yard line. Fourth and eight. Punt unit stays off. They're going for it. Big pass. Over through his receiver. So that's going to be turnover on downs. Blanchester ball. They take over at their own 26 yard line. First and 10, Blanchester, with 6.54 left in the game. Looked like a flea flicker. Oh, that was a good play. Ball just needed to be a little bit more on target. But Bethel defense sniffed that out. Uh, looks to be third down and 10 on Blanchester's 26 yard line after uh, three incomplete passes. That's looking good. Bethel Tate defense is holding strong. Here's the pass. Looks like a dart thrown out of bounds. Incomplete. So it's going to bring up fourth and 10 on their own 26. Um, I believe this is going to be go for it territory. There, it looks like they're going to punt this. Watch the trickery. Nice punt. Looks like it took a tiger bounce. They get it at the uh, Blanchester 49 yard line. It's going to be first and 10 with six minutes, 30 seconds left in the game. Bethel Tate leading 25 to 16. <laughs> 
good pass. That is an incomplete pass. It's a forward pass, so, so it just falls incomplete. You gotta add nerves to steal. All right, second and ten. Blanchester 49 looks like they move the ball up for about four or five yards. Third and seven, Tigers football on the Blanchester 46 yard line. Swing pass out to number two, runs it, makes a guy miss, gets a first down and a couple more. Darius, yep. Darius is back. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> so, Bethel Tate making, they're moving the ball, it's just they have to punch into the end zone. So that one special play, that one bomb, I'll tell you what, my son Mike <laughs> caught one against c &E when he was in youth. Like, I couldn't believe it. I about blew out. Um, <laughs> you remember it like it was yesterday? I do, I do. I remember <laughs> it like it was yesterday. I about blew out, um, uh, uh, his friend Joe, his, his friend Joe's brother, Gabe Kogor, I thought that was your drum. <laughs> he yelled <Yeah>. so loud. <laughs> this is fun. This is, uh, this is fun. This is it's what it's all about. We should do this uh, for soccer games, too, I think. I think that would be fun. Uh, exactly. My daughter the, Emma uh, plays uh, soccer. Now I'm plugging all my kids' names because I got a call from my kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah. So <laughs> waiting for the snap. Draws back. Hands nice it off to Mike Kilborn. Nobody saw that coming. Makes a guy miss. He comes Very up. nice. Very nice, man. He fought for those last few oh, inches. He did. He did. I'm real happy with how with how he's doing. He's actually uh, um, this is his first real game to where he's getting a lot of playing time. And yeah. He's kind of showing that you know um, what he can do. That's awesome. This <laughs> year. We're back, which for the snap, hands it off again. Step nice. on this. Goes it. Beautiful. Hands on First down and a lot more. What is that? Stop, stop showing the uh, uh, end zone. Said maybe. Yeah. Two, two yard line, maybe? Yeah, probably about at the two. So it's probably like second Wow. Goal. Three minutes and 25 seconds left in the game. Tigers leading 25 to 16. the ball hand off to Mikey Malloy again moves the pile he's moving sideways I couldn't see 
You can't say enough also um, about the offensive linemen in this game too. I mean, that's where it starts is up front. Yeah. Because if they're not giving the push, you're not, you're not going to go anywhere. So, so the guys in the trenches. As a matter of fact, the Bengals should probably pluck a couple of those guys <laughs> and put exactly. them on our team. Maybe Joe Burrow can have more than three seconds to throw the ball. <laughs> Just punch it in. Still looks like he's short. Yeah, this is an offensive lineman's dream. Say second and one, second and two. Yeah, yeah. These are the moments you live for, right? Right. So it's going to be, so it, I guess we suffer no gain. So it's third and two. So it's third and goal. Just push him in. Whatever energy that you have, put all, put all of it into it and just push him in. Snap and oh, he was down, but he was down. I don't, was he in? He was down before the ball came loose. I'm ground, not sure. ground calls the fumble. I was gonna say, I, so, I guess he's the one. He gained a yard, so he's fourth and yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, but he had sense enough to stretch. So looks like, looks like the Wildcats are calling another timeout. I mean, there's a minute 12 left. It's 25-16. We're on the one-yard line. But the way this game's gone, like anything can happen, so. So we sit here with bated breath, waiting to see what happens at the end of the game. <laughs> well, I hope we're getting enough shots of the cheerleaders now. We were hearing through comments that we weren't seeing enough of the cheerleaders. So the cameramen were told, hopefully they're delivering. Yes, they were told. All right, here we go. Blanchester comes back out. But it's fourth and one. One minute to go. Greg, you're calling Kate. the plays. What do you call right now? Run up the middle. Yeah. Or oh, I draw them off sides like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Well, that was a false start. Well, that question just got more interesting. What do you call now? I still run it. There's a minute <laughs> yeah, 12. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you don't get it, they're going to be on like yeah. this, their own six yard line. So you just go for it. Yeah, give the kid the rock. Let him run for it. Quarterback waits for snap. Pulls back. Rose. Nope. That's why I don't coach high school football. <laughs> so the Blanchester Wildcats take take over on their own six yard line. First and ten, a minute eight left. Bethel's leading 25-16. They Heaven forbid, they score a touchdown right now. That's going to make it 23, 25. I, I'm doing my job. <laughs> the fans are getting at you. Like, don't say that. Um, <laughs> this, is an, this is an interactive Rose. press box. Wow. I'm glad they didn't right. take that. I'm glad he, that they didn't get that ball. I was saying, I he, was, he was covered, but I got to tell you, that was a beautiful throw, actually. It was a beautiful throw. At that distance, that. I mean, he kind of would have had to thread the needle between two guys. Yeah, but, yeah. Right. So, it, I mean. It was, a, it was a mission impossible, but. So, we have a minute left. I mean, there's, there's really, you know, if you're 
on the defense, no guess to what these guys are going to do now. They're not going to be running it unless it's, you know, some crazy trick play um, out of the backfield because I think they have one timeout left, I believe. It's either going to be quick dump passes or they're just going to chuck it downfield. Bethel defense has been strong all night. Here we go. Pass is made. Is incomplete. So now it's third and ten on their own six. Third and ten on Blanchester's own six. 57 seconds left in the game. Bethel Tate's leading 25 to 16. God, this has been a fun game to watch. <laughs> it has. The crowd is into it. Defense has been strong all night. Fake handoff. He's back under duress in the backfield. That was close to a safety. Well, it's go time now, fourth and ten. Let's go for it, territory. Looks like the Wildcats take another timeout. I don't know, do you? I believe this is their final one. Do you go for it? Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you definitely yeah. go for it. There's 51 seconds left in the game. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to hit the home run, this is the time to do it. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> Now it looks like they're done talking about it. Here we go. Stay strong. Pass. Not for a first down. It is a first down. We're still in it, baby. 45 seconds left. Now. Darius, this is the time where you kind of give them the underneath stuff. Yeah. They can get all that underneath yardage. Actually, I drop. I drop guys back. Yep, yep. He's going for it. <laughs> Stepped in front of him. Incomplete pass to number three. Blanchester on their own six. Looks like, yeah, Blanchester on their own 16. Second and 10, 32 seconds left in the game. Bethel Tate is leading 25 to 16. Yeah, I feel real good about dropping a safety back there, just in case yeah. things get out of control. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Everybody's backing off. Passes through. <coughs> oh. Oh. You gotta watch that hit. Yeah, that guy got a fistful of baffle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In a pretty hard. I'm surprised he's going back to the correct huddle. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, We'll do after the after the end. We'll do a pretty quick wrap up. That way, then I'll cut the feed. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Third and ten. Twenty-eight seconds left. Oh, here it comes. Pass is thrown. 
Oh. Incomplete. <clears throat> In between two Tigers. Fourth and ten on Blanchester's own 16. 22 seconds left in the game. I believe Blanchester's undefeated this year, too. They knew this was going to be a battle coming in. So. If we get a first here, this is ball game. Looks like the quarterback's trying to run. Gets out of the pocket. Incomplete. That was fourth and ten. So Bethel takes over at Blanchester's 16 yard line with 15 seconds left. It looks like he's just going to kneel the ball here, Darius. Bethel Tate's lining up. Let's Looks like they're going to take off. a knee. And they do. And that's a game. And that's the game. That wins. <laughs> All right. Well, Bethel Tate wins this Titanic struggle 25 to 16. <laughs> oh. That was a great game. Blanchester gets the long ride home to think about it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the fans have been great up here, everyone. Thank you for tolerating me <laughs> and my constant talking, that's, just doing my that job. Is the, that is the test of a so good fan. It they is, endured. It is. It is. I mean, that is, you know, it's just a little bit of adversity. It's teams that fight through adversity. They kind of went through. They had the two-point conversion. Uh, yep. Or, uh, yep. Um, they had. <laughs> they had the. Um, <laughs> they had the safety, you yep, know, yep. Uh, a couple of interceptions, but they fought yep. back and they, they, they won quite handily, 25 to 16. It's not a score to, to sneeze at. Yeah. So everyone around is like, oh man, this Bethel guys. So, but uh, yeah, it's been great. For you folks at home, thanks for tuning in and uh, please encourage your friends and family to subscribe to this channel. I, exactly. And we will, uh, one way or the other, we will certainly be here for the next home game. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be here for the next home game. And guys. It's, it's been a privilege. I hope you guys had fun at home. Um, you know, the hot dogs are probably better. No, just kidding. Um, they got good hot dogs here. I do. They do. All right, this is Greg Schuler signing off. <laughs>